Well, the van came off the road up behind us here on the highway. The wheels sorry. came off. And uh, actually, we would have been back a little bit further. The front wheels came right off the van. No, it came, came off the highway. The front, uh, I guess, the front chassis was going to go on the ground first. And when it hit the ditch, it swung the van sideways. And the van then started to roll. And the van rolled down the slope, came to rest right at the very bottom. And along the way, uh, people who didn't have a seatbelt in, all being one of them, were, were thrown out. I was in the front passenger seat with my seatbelt on, my knees up on the dash sleep. And the van, when it came to a stop, it was right in the middle, at the bottom of this little gully here. Uh, landed upright on its wheels. My door was, was all crunched in. And uh, so I just popped my seatbelt and stepped out. Uh, I knew the equipment truck was behind us somewhere down the highway. So from the bottom here, I started scrambling up this slope to try and get to the top. To try and drive it down. So we, had, uh, we needed some serious help here. Finally got, I got about halfway up, I could see the top of the equipment truck going by. So I got over the, the barrier. By then, uh, my whole right side, I cut some scrapes and needed stitches on my, my right arm and leg. I had a pair of shorts on, I'm covered in blood, and I'm trying to flag people down on the highway, and they've taken one look at this freaking just going. Eventually, uh, the nurse and her husband came down and started uh, helping out with really needed help. At that point, I just kind of stumbled around on the hill here trying to find my shoes and find, uh, find the, the band money because that was sitting on the hill somewhere. Uh, at, that, at that point, Paul and, uh, and Mike Palmer, who was doing marvelous for the tour, were being looked after by people that were in way better qualifications than uh, open. We were so uh, uh, well, I just took a seat on the hill and shook our heads and waited for the ambulances to when the ambulances came. Uh, they took Paul and uh, Mike Palmer to Kamloops, which is about 40 kilometers that way. And they took Alan Russell and myself to Merritt, which is about 40 kilometers that way. And then uh, the hospital in Merritt. One RCMP officer uh, took me into a back room and said, Listen, I gotta let you know this that uh, Paul didn't make it. That sucks. You can see that they figured the van rolled about four times, bounced four times down this, this slope, came to rest right at the very bottom. Facing this direction. On How fast wheels. are you going? Well, they figure about 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah. How many times did it roll? They, they figure four. <laughs> it felt like more. <laughs> yeah, really, eh? Paul was uh, back up there a little ways, and Mike Palmer was further over to the other kind of side of the where the trees are now. There weren't, there weren't any trees there then. Paul was uh, just back over here, and Mike Palmer was just further off back. These trees weren't here then. Right where those little trees are there? Yeah, right where the trees are in the middle and bottom. It, it stopped facing, the front end was facing the highway. So this has got to be... Did you anything when you took them up to the highway? Didn't take, I didn't move them, didn't move anybody. First they, thing, so they came down here? Yeah, first thing I did was uh, figured, okay, every, this, this is serious, everybody's hurt. They're all scattered all over the side of the mountain here. Uh, 
uh, start trying to get some help. What am I going to do? Okay, uh, so you get to climb up that side. So the highway. I scrambled up this. I thought, well, first of all, you can't, you can not quite see the highway from here. It's back up there. Yeah. So I figured, okay, well, if I go that way, it's going to take me longer than going straight up. And if I go straight up, at least when I get close to the top, somebody might see me. And uh, I got, got about halfway up and I saw the top of our equipment truck going by on the highway. That blows. It really did. How many cars went by that didn't stop? Well, it doesn't. Finally, a doctor and his wife stopped. Yeah. And they, they parked over here where our van is. Yeah. And uh, rushed down and started looking after Paul and Mike. You were lucky you got a doctor. Yeah. Well, Paul Hack and rest in peace. Yes, Paul. 